We're sitting at a pollinator garden on San Francisco State's campus, and this is a wonderful resource for bees. Right now it's really early in the spring, but you can see that we've planted it with a bunch of, of early season species that have flowers and resources for bees. In particular, you can notice that there are purple, yellow, and white colored flowers here. Bees actually see in the UV, so these are colors that they visually pick up better than, than flowers that are in the reds. We have a mix here of native species like this orange California poppy and um, some non-natives here that still provide good resources for the bees. The important thing about this garden is that we have flowers all season long. It goes from spring into fall and here in California we actually are lucky enough that we can have flowers all through the winter. You can also see that there are a bunch of different shapes and sizes of flowers and that will accommodate a diversity of different bees, not just our honeybees which are generalists, but some of the specialist bees that reside here in California. We have um, uh, cup flowers, we have flowers that have a little more closed shape that are, are a little more difficult to get in, and with bees you never know exactly which plants are going to do the best for the community that you have. One of the things you can do with your garden is actually watch different plants and see which are most important for the bee community that are there. In addition to sunflowers in the Great Sunflower Project, we have a set of other species that you can collect data from. And those are other plants that we know are good bee plants that you could plant in your garden.